Welcome to the Service Now Star and as well as Global Mindset University. Uh, my name is Mohammed Rashid Kamal. On today's episode, I would like to discuss about two important uh, code repository where we can uh, manage our code. A code repository, one is as you can see it on the slide here, the GitHub repository, uh, and the second one is AWS code commits. We're going to discuss those two, what are the key features, what we can do, what we cannot do, and as well as what are the key features. Uh, both of them will see key features, the pricing, and finally we will discuss about uh, which one is really good for service now to manage your code. So we're gonna look at those two. It's really uh, an important point, especially this comes whenever you are working with your company or uh, clients, especially when you start at the beginning, your development, you need to have some sort of managing your code uh, where you can keep your code, uh, like committing your code and also managing your code. So that's really an important point to discuss before you begin development. I would like to discuss about two important uh, code repository where we can uh, manage our code. A code repository, one is as you can see it on the slide here, the GitHub repository, uh, and the second one is AWS code commits. We're going to discuss those two, what are the key features, what we can do, what we cannot do, and as well as what are the key features? Uh, both of them will see key features, the pricing, and finally we will discuss about uh, which one is really good for service now to manage your code. So we're gonna look at those two. It's really uh, an important point, especially this comes whenever you are working with your company or uh, clients, especially when you start at the beginning, your development, you need to have some sort of managing your code uh, where you can keep your code, uh, like committing your code and also managing your code. So that's really an important point to discuss before you begin development. Let's say you are a team of five, a team of 10, or a team of 20, when you are a really big group, a uh, big development group, so in that occasion, at the beginning, you need to discuss how you can manage your code. So that should come at the beginning. So watching this video will help you to decide which way to go. You wanna go to, you wanna use ServiceNow, uh, which is uh, Git is already installed or already integrated with the ServiceNow. That's the cool part. But I'll tell you what are, you know, the features that you're gonna have. And there are some lack uh, that Git doesn't have, but we'll talk all of those in this short video. In addition with that, some of uh, the key features that AWS code commits, right? uh, where you can store your code, manage your code as a team. Yeah, you can, we can discuss that one as well. So the first thing here is, so what happened with Git uh, GitHub, which is the Git repository, you can do your work on non-production instance. This means your instance, most probably your client might have a dev instance, a test instance, and a prod instance. Sometimes you might have four instances, but usually three instances are enough. Dev, test, and prod. So where you can use this um, the GitHub repository, you can link it with your dev, and test instance, dev and test, there's no way you can work on prod instance. If you are working on prod instance, definitely possible, but you need to use some other ways, like exporting using XML, or you can use an update set. But other than that, with Git, you can now use in production instance. And also, you can import applications from a Git repository, let's say 
in whatever you 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 saved your uh, your word in the git repository you can bring that one to your service now so that's that's a good way and another important thing you can do you can pull or apply remote change from your git, your git repository remote change and not only that you can commit all your local change on the instance using the git repository okay you can commit all using the git repository with that if you want to create a tag to permanently link to a given version of an application yes it's possible I'll show you that one in the demo so uh, you go to your studio from the studio you can link up your specific application to your git repository so you can create branch to maintain multiple version of your application simultaneously that's another cool feature that git has which is already integrated with service now and if you want to have like each application must be within its own git repository whatever application you have they need to have their own git repository that's a cool part in the repository there is a user credential and the user credential must have an access to read and write if you are given to your developers okay or your team you need to make sure that they have a read and write access if not that's not possible so this is some of the supported future with the git which is already integrated with the service now you can edit which we already discussed your application repository so you can edit it and you can commit all your local change on the instance whatever instance you have all your change you can commit it that's a good way and you can apply remote change from a given repository a remote change which is possible through git and another if you want to create a branch definitely you can do create a branch yeah that's another cool future and also like if you want to manage your code in different branch from one branch to another branch yes it's possible to uh, go from one branch to another branch creating branch or going from one branch to another branch yes you can switch and also you can import an application from a remote repository like if you are familiar with the service now especially uh, when you take some of the training the free training and service now now learning you'll get some repository code okay using the github so from there you can you can import applications to your personal developer in instance to your pdi is possible that's the cool part but when you come to the features that are not supported within the git the most important thing here is mainly uh, the git you can use it within a given application then a given application scope so it doesn't support a global application that doesn't fit that feature doesn't have global now so if you want to manage like a global application you cannot use a git and also like managing application on the production instance like i said at the beginning it's not supported for the production instance yes definitely you may not work on production instance which is not uh, recommended so in a situation if you want to apply like on fly on, on fly uh, on fly if you want to make any change you can use an update set update set or you can use an xml that way you can make a change but using git is impossible totally impossible and if you want to make any modification to a given file in the application git repository outside of the instance it's impossible if you are outside the instance you cannot make change even sometimes when you try to uh, when you create when you link it your application through the studio once you link it on the github it will create a checksum xml checksum xml what does that tell you that you cannot make any change the only change you can make it within the service now not from outside right so all application developers on a given instance they share a single they share a single set of credential per repository yes so those are the things that are not supported through git 
But when it comes to uh, AWS code commits, basically this AWS code commit is a full-fledged uh, application from AWS, and which is uh, what it, what makes it good. I'm gonna start from the good part because it is free, especially if you have a team of five or less, you can manage a team of five or less with free. You don't need to pay. And the good part, you can, you can store whatever file you have, right? Something like code or binary, even image. Yes, you can store. There's a little bit of limit to it, but mainly it's free. It's free. Yeah. So it's fully fledged source control service that hosts a secure Git based repository secure git based repository it makes easier for a team to collaborate on the code and secure and highly scalable ecosystem i cannot tell you how much its scalability is it's really scalable so if you want to scale up your development you can easily scale up it's very easy and also you can eliminate the need to operate your own source control system or you don't need to worry about scaling of the infrastructure. That's a good part for AWS code commit. And the other important thing, security wise. So security wise, it is really secure. Anything from source code to binary. I mean, you can store anything from source code to binary. In security wise, like I said, it's really secure. And it has an encryption as well. On the fly as well. And so on, the, on the rest and also on the fly encryption as both. And it works seamlessly with your Git, Git tool. So whatever Git tool you have, you can use your own, uh, you know, the Git codes, and you can use that. And some of the features uh, which is offered by code commits, AWS code commits, collaboration. All right, so collaboration. You can collaborate with your team, with the teammates via request, branching, merging. See, all those cool stuffs are here. You can merge as well. And if you talk about encryption, like I said earlier, in transit or in at rest, it's possible encryption. And when it comes to the access control, users with AWS identity and access management, they can control and monitor who can see your code, who can see your code, where they can see it, I mean, where they can access it, even the time when they should need to access it. If you want to give them an access in a certain time, yes, possibly you can give, you can do that, which is not possible in Git. So that's the, the good benefit it has with the AWS code commit. And the other important thing, it is really helpful in uh, speed up your development life cycle. Whatever your development life cycle will be speed up, keep you, your repository, uh, to build a staging and production environment in your AWS. Right, so you can do all of those cool features. And last but not least, you can use your uh, Git commands, whatever Git command, for example, for committing, staging, merging, all those are possible. You don't need to learn any Git commits, uh, Git codes over here. So that's another cool part. And as a final note, with the AWS, like I said, it's free. Uh, it has within a limit, let's say, if you are a team of five, it's going to be totally free for you. But the good thing is if you want to scale up your project and if you want to scale up more team, you just need to pay a dollar per additional active user. That's another important thing here. And another important thing here I want to add on here is on AWS code commits, the... Uh, code you have here you can keep it private right but if you go to the github it's mainly public public the only way you can make it private for free is if you have a student account but uh, especially for government or for any client you have unless they have their own uh, you know aws or github accounts you cannot have that free version closed or private so that is the main difference here between the AWS code commits 
and as well as the service the uh, git the github repository but in general both of them are good the only thing is you know which one is good for your environment and which one is not yes so if you are looking for a client that have they already have aws so aws code commit is going to be a good one and if you have a team of five and want to have just private uh, repository is also a good way to start with aws code commits and if you don't want to uh, have you know all the headaches for integration especially the github it's already integrated with service now and the next step i'm going to show you how you can uh, link up your instance with the service now because it's already integrated github is already integrated with the service now and the only thing you need to do is you just need to get that url and you need to use your credential login there and link it up for a given specific application with that i want to conclude this episode uh, but i will come i'll come up with the next episode which is i'll show you how to use github which is github it's already there in linked uh, already there in your service now instance i'll show you how to link up your uh, service now application to your github repository let's say this is a very good thing especially for those of you who are using your personal developer instance it's a very good way to keep your data it's because ServiceNow will only give you 10 days it has an activity monitor for your uh, personal developer instance and if you are not using it for 10 days ServiceNow will reclaim your personal developer instance it happened to me just one time uh, but what I want to advise all my colleagues who here is maybe new to ServiceNow or you are thinking to join ServiceNow whenever you have your personal developer instance you need to log in every day and do something to it if not like if you are inactive for 10 days consecutive 10 days so ServiceNow will like will reclaim your account so you may be forced to get a new one which you lose all your development in there but if you already commit your applications that are in your service now to uh, by linking it to a git repository that way you can bring it anytime you want how cool it is right great so if you have any question you can send us at contact at servicenowstar.com and if you want to just write a comment feel free to drop your comments here in the comment section if you haven't yet subscribed don't forget to subscribe so that you can get all the new videos or all the new contents we're going to post here. All right, until we see each other with the next episode, wish you have a great day. Bye. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share our videos.